Well, I think the best strategy for Africa is uh, having a holistic approach to climate change. So they need to think about the financing for climate action. They need to think about programming climate action. Uh, and they need to think about capacity building for climate action. So I think they need to have an overview, holistic approach, which addresses multiple things in parallel and at the same time, instead of going one at a time. And I think that could very well advance uh, climate action within the continent. I think what is missing is um, the first thing is probably finance. Uh, I know from the Adaptation Fund our experience is that a lot of developing countries, not just in Africa, have tended to struggle with accessing financing from the Adaptation Fund and also from other sources. So I think there is a lot of work to be done both by the developing country parties and by the uh, organizations providing climate finance to developing countries to work together to try and shorten the period of accessing climate finance, uh, international sources, but also really supporting capacity building within developing countries. So developing countries and particularly in Africa, capacity is a huge, huge issue and there are huge capacity gaps that need really to be addressed. And I should say on that front, from the Adaptation Fund, we're coordinating a group of providers of readiness support and capacity building support for climate adaptation. Uh, and we are working together with about 12 to 14 organizations that are also part of the UN convention, Climate Convention. And we are facilitating and coordinating support for capacity building and readiness support for climate change adaptation and particularly looking at developing countries and specifically also looking at Africa. So I think Africa should start thinking a lot more about programming. So there are the NDCs which started as INDCs and I believe a couple, a number of African countries have submitted their now NDCs. And I think the focus should really now turn to implementation, putting um, uh, paper or plans into practice. So what would be great is to see some of these uh, action strategies and contents of these NDCs actually materialize as projects and action on the ground to benefit of, of course, the most vulnerable groups and communities. And specifically when you talk about adaptation, which is a huge issue for Africa specifically, I know that a lot of these NDCs have focused on adaptation as well and not just mitigation. So it would be really great, particularly from the Adaptation Fund, if some of the proposals we are receiving from the developing countries start to focus and um, talk about implementation of their NDCs. And there's that link between planning and programming and implementation on the ground. It would be really, really good to see that. <laughs>